Hey friends, tonight we are checking into Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. This is going to be my first staycation for the new year 2022 and I want to give you a grand tour, show you the room and also all the amazing amenities the resort has to offer and just have a really awesome Polynesian kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. First things first, let's check in and get our room number and also get a lay because it's like a custom to actually get a lay when you check in at the Polynesian Resort and it's one of my favorite things. I'm not too sure if they actually stopped laying people because of the current situation or if you just have to do it yourself. But anyways, here it is. There we go. My first uh, Polynesian lay for uh, 2022. Here is a look at the map and uh, right here is where we're at and we're going to be staying at the Arturo building which is right over here closest to the Grand Floridian sign and it's actually right next to the Great Ceremonial House which is going to be super amazing and uh, yeah I think we're going to head over and check out our room. Uh, a lot of people don't know this but they have two different pools here at the Polynesian. They have the Oasis pool and then the Lava pool and this one actually has the amazing slide in it. I like this one a little bit better and this is what they call the quiet pool and uh, maybe we'll check them out one of my favorite things about staying at the Polynesian is all the amazing amenities and food places like you have Ohana you have Kona Cafe you have Captain Cook's you've got Trader Sam's you have the barefoot pool bar you have so many activities that you can do here and plus they have like s'mores and you can watch the fireworks from the beach like there's a lot and you're on the uh, Magic Kingdom loop so you can just take a monorail right on over to the Magic Kingdom it's actually a pretty chilly day here in Florida. It's 58 degrees and I'm not too sure if we're actually going to go swimming in any of the pools, but we're definitely going to check them out. But I don't want to get out of the pool and actually be freezing. I know that the pools are heated, but it's still cold when you get out. I was supposed to actually be staying in the DVC side, but they are 100% booked and all they had was wheelchair accessible rooms. And I told them, I was like, well, I don't need a wheelchair accessible room. And uh, they just flopped me over to the hotel side. And that is so cool because like I said, I never stayed over here before. So this is gonna be the first time. I've only ever stayed in Disney Vacation Club side and I've stayed at the Polynesian Bungalows, but I've never stayed at the hotel side. And uh, new experience new room it's like a different layout might be actually the moana rooms yeah oh man <laughs> now i'm like super super excited here it is and uh this one is three stories and i'm hoping that this is one of the moana rooms i don't know if they did all of the resort on the hotel side but we'll find out once we get in there and i think i'm on the third floor which is even better because uh, i get a clear shot at the castle this looks like it's gonna be our room right here so This is really awesome. It is the Moana Rooms and I'm so excited to show you and to be able to stay over here a little bit of Disney magic because I am like pumped. I am so excited about this. We're gonna give you a little bit of a room tour and I kind of like it. Like it's really bright. It's really updated, clean, fresh looking. And I like Moana, so it's kind of a plus for me there. I do like the old Polynesian look. Like I like the, uh, like 70s Polynesian vibes, but this is much more modern. And uh, we'll start in the bathroom here. It's got dual sinks there. It's got some H2O products. Oh, they give you mouthwash. Never seen that before. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty fancy. Nice mirrors here. Oh, hi, that's me. <laughs> the bathroom here has got a closed off uh, toilet area. Oh, look at Moana and Maui there in the bottom of the picture. That's really cool. Some towel storage. Here's the uh, shower. The shower looks nice. I like these doors. I don't know how these, whoa, they slide. And it's like a tub, so it's like a tub shower. <laughs> they still have these on lockdown though, so that's a little strange, but I like the shower. It's really nice. It is super, super bright in here. I can guarantee it. Like the uh, old Polynesian rooms were so like kind of dark, but it is so bright and lively in here. That's like a big plus. Now we'll show you some of the storage areas. They've got, uh, I like how they have little tiny drawers down here. That probably comes in handy. And it just closes in and out. Extra pillow, blankets, lights inside there. This is where you can hang up some stuff. This is another one right here. This is just uh, different shelves. And then they have a little safe there. Ooh, and a nice mirror. Yeah, the mirror is actually really nice. 
And then over here is like the little kitchen area. Look at Hey Hey. That is really cool. You get a little Keurig. I don't see anything with the Keurig unless it's in here, which I'm betting it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got that special 50th anniversary cake cubs right here. That's the good stuff. And then a fridge down here. Yeah. Not fully stocked. Not fully stocked today, though. Look at that, though. I like this little fridge. It is nice. I can't wait to try the uh, Keurig, though. I like these. If I don't use them, I'm taking them home with me. <laughs> My favorite thing about this room probably would have to be all of the artwork and the murals here and all the little tiny Moana like details. There is a lot. This mural right here is so beautiful. I really, really do love it. It comes with uh, two queen beds here, a nice picture of Moana over on this side. And you can see like all of like the trimmings and the arts. You can see little touches of Moana, the water right there. And you can see the heart of Tefiti on the corners. I don't know if you can see it right there. Yeah. Like, they are so, so nice. Everything is. The pillows are beautiful. Can't wait to test out the beds. Ooh, look at this lamp over here. I get so excited. I'm like, look at this lamp over here. It's got everybody on it. It's got Maui. It's got Moana. Hey, hey. And I think it has the heart of Tefiti on this side, too. Yeah, look, it has Tefiti. That is so cool. This is a really, really nice room, especially if you look at it from this angle. Like, wow, I'm impressed. Ooh, and I think this is a sleeper sofa. We're gonna have to test this out. I'm gonna take these pillows off. I like the pillows too. Yeah, put them right over here. Excellent, on Michael Scott's bed. And uh, I think you pull this down and then pull that. Ooh, yeah, just like that. Well, that's kind of nice. And this flips over maybe? Not too sure how it works, but I think this might be it. I think this is just the bed itself. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I didn't even notice the giant Maui right here too. Look at them. That is so cool. Like, I'm really liking these rooms. I'm really liking that updated Polynesian rooms. And this is the first time I've actually seen them. Let's take a look at the balcony now. And also I can see the Heart of Tefiti actually in the uh, curtains right here. Well, that's really interesting. The door actually isn't like a full sliding open door. It's just one panel, I think. And yeah, oh, I'm loving it. Look at this. So peaceful. <sighs> Beautiful shot of the beach there. You can see Cinderella Castle, the Grand Floridian. This is really, really nice. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. I love this. I think it is so nice. Now, I didn't see the rooms uh, before they switched over to Moana. I've only seen the Disney Vacation Club signs, so I don't know if they're the same. But after seeing these, I kind of like them a little bit more. I do like that old Polynesian vibe, but like this is just so much like like cleaner and bright and if you're spending a lot of money to stay at the Polynesian this is the room you would probably expect to get especially in this new era of time where everything is kind of like up to date like I do love the old retro Disney but uh, a lot of people that are like in the younger generation they don't like it as much but me I do like it I do love all the Moana references in here though it is quite beautiful and plenty of storage underneath the bed. Like that is perfect uh, for like any of the luggage or anything like that. And I guess you can use this as like a table, slide it out. They have a nice little chair over there. <laughs> Do you like my joke about the Michael Scott uh, bed? Cause that's kind of where he sleeps. I wonder if I could sleep there. This is perfect. This is the best bed ever. There we go. I thought something was missing. Today is Monday, January 24th. It's 5, 11 p.m. The parks are open till 9 and 10 o'clock. Actually, if you're staying here at the Polynesian, they're doing extra magic hours at Epcot. So you get to stay uh, from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. for deluxe resorts. That's really, that's really awesome. I should try to take advantage of that. And they also have some storage down here. Oh, these are big. Holy moly, they're almost as big as my bed. I wanted to come test out the mattress and it's very, very comfy. This is nice. <laughs> Who comes to like such a nice resort and they just lay down in bed? Oh, it feels so good. Honestly, I can just lay in bed all day long and just stare at this mural. It is so like beautiful. You have the turtle over there. You have Moana, Maui. It is really, really nice. Like that is some 
like amazing artwork right there. I like how they have the nightstand in the middle there, but then they have this little tiny shelf slash nightstand slash cell phone holder or cell phone charger. Cause you know, that's where everyone's putting their cell phone is right here. Put the uh, cable right there and it's just the perfect size. So that's really, really cool. I wonder if they have one on that side too. I didn't even notice. They do have one on the other side of the other bed and that's really, really cool. And I keep on noticing more and more spots actually put storage and I don't actually, I don't, I, I travel pretty light because all I do is bring a backpack. But if you have tons of like luggage, I know that it can clutter up a room. So it's really cool that they have so many different spots. And I noticed right next to the TV and the uh, pull out couch that they have like a little like tucked away spot down there too. See right there underneath that lamp there. I mean, that's a, a spot you can put some stuff. And like I said, plenty of room underneath the bed. I mean, I could probably fit underneath the bed. Uh, <laughs> you thought I was gonna go underneath the bed, didn't you? Yep. You thought right. <laughs> I really, really love it here. Now I think we're gonna head down and walk around and enjoy the resort a little bit. I do wanna stop and get myself some coffee from Kona. Uh, they have some of the best coffee here. And I haven't figured out what I wanna eat yet. I would love to get into Ohana, but I'm sure they don't have any reservations. But I could go for some noodles and coconut meatballs. That's my greatest combination. You get a little of the uh, noodles from Ohana from uh, uh, the Tambu Lounge, and then you get the coconut meatballs down at Captain Cook's, and it is so delicious but now let's head out and explore like I said there's the magic kingdom as I'm heading out I also noticed on the hallway they have tons of Moana characters there's hey hey right there and you can just see that the carpeting is so nice and for everything is the walls I really really do like it a lot Right outside my room or right outside my balcony is the uh, Spirit of Aloha dinner show, which is something I never did before. And uh, I kind of want to go walk over there, see what it's like, because I've never been inside of it. And most of the time that I've been here, the walls were up actually blocking it. So now it's actually open so you can kind of peek see in there. I'm pretty sure they've announced that it's not coming back, which makes me sad because I've always wanted to do it. It was a uh, Aloha spirit comes alive with authentic dances, enchanting music, and all you care to enjoy family feast and a spectacular celebration of Polynesian culture. So this was one thing that I never got to do. So hopefully if it does come back, we will definitely book it. And I think it's back here actually. Another super awesome thing is they have a private beach over here. This one is like the quiet beach. You know, they have like a quiet pool. This is like the quiet beach. No one's usually over here unless they're walking over to the Grand Floridian or you're staying on this side of the resort. So we'll uh, take a peek see over there too. And it's got a much better view of the fireworks. This beach on this side is so much better if you want to come and watch the fireworks. It has the music and I think it's more of a straight on shot for the castle too. We're coming up on where the abandoned Spirit of Aloha dinner show actually is. And look, all these buildings are kind of the old style. You can tell by the water fountains. A little outdated water fountain. <laughs> kind of reminds me of high school. Look, a little push bar. I wonder if they work. Oh, they do work. Oh, wow. Holy moly, look at that sucker. <laughs> Holy moly, that water fountain was like... <laughs> that's pretty crazy and there's nothing over here like saying you can't come over here it's just open once there's a sign that says like cast member only or do not enter i'm definitely not going to go any farther into there looks like i spoke too soon and our journey has come to an end because there's a rope up we don't cross ropes <laughs> and uh yeah this is it the spirit of aloha you guys should see the sign right over there i see it right there and this probably was a waiting area right here. These nice benches. I wonder if these benches are under, like, end up over at like the Lakeland Antique Mall or Property Control, because I would get one of those. And at one time, there was probably water running through here. You know what I mean? There was, it was a little tiny moat, so there's probably water running through here. And now it's all dried up. Don't even think the fireworks anymore, because all the other torches are on. Really cool. Let me know if you guys have ever done this before. I mean, I, I feel like it would have been something amazing and something I would love to do. But let me know in the comments if you've done it and if it was awesome. Oh, there's a little rabbit back here too. Hiya, rabbit. We're just passing by here. It's very nice to see you. Are you having a good day? I bet you are. Hop away. See ya. 
the wildlife is wild here at the uh, Polynesian Resort. Did that bird just poop? I think it just pooped. And now it's walking like an Egyptian. It is so peaceful over here. I'm loving it. You can hear the Polynesian music and just kind of relax. And the, the blue skies, the skies are amazing right now. I don't know if I can show you guys. I don't know if it'll come out on camera, but it is so wonderful out right now. Look at that. Isn't that just breathtaking? It's almost like a picture. Like it really, really is. Oh, and there's our little bunny friend living his best Polynesian life. Earlier I was talking about the quiet beach and this is it right here. I'm gonna give you a good look. I think they took uh, some of the swings out because I only see one swing. I don't see any chairs anywhere. Yeah, it only has that one swing over there and uh, the sand is almost not even touched except for this one pathway right here. I'm gonna walk in this guy's pathway or this girl's pathway. So that way we don't mess up the sand too much. But right there, Cinderella Castle, straight on shot. So if you ever plan on coming over to the Polynesian to watch the fireworks, come over on this side of the beach. It's right next to the wedding pavilion at the Grand Floridian. And it is just like, there's nobody here. Literally, it's so much better because the fireworks are gonna happen right in this general vicinity. Maybe we'll actually see it tonight. That would be a cool treat. Now I'm walking back in my own footsteps, kind of like the christening of the first snow. You know, when the first snow actually comes down and it's just all white and pretty, and you don't want to actually put the footprints in it. I don't want to do that to the beach. Even though you can see it's a little messed up behind me. Ha, ah, there we go. I made it. Let's make our way back inside the great ceremonial house. And uh, like I said, I want to get some coffee and we can check to see if we can get in, uh, in Ohana. But uh, if we can't, we have our backup plan. We're doing Captain Cook's and Tambu Lounge. Another thing I should check on is, uh, since we're here, putting my name in at Trader Sam's because they do have a virtual wait list. So I could put my name in and then a couple hours from now, I'd be able to go in and maybe have a drink. That sounds like a good idea. I think I'm gonna do it. Right here is Trader Sam's Grog Grotto, and uh, we'll see how long the wait time is. It's open 3 p.m. till midnight, so if you want to get here, you got to put your name in like hours ahead. They said it's actually only going to be an hour wait. That is like a phenomenal time for Trader Sam's, so I was like, sign me up, sign me up. Now I think I'm going to swing into the boutique -y real quick, see if they've got any of the new 50th anniversary merchandise. <gasps> oh, holy moly. There it is. The jersey I've been looking for. The vault collectible jersey. This just came out today and I didn't think I was going to be able to get it because I was going to be here. And I thought they were only going to sell it in Magic Kingdom. But it's here. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. You are definitely coming home with me. <laughs> this is much too good. I am so happy about this. Look at that amazing map of Disney World. Main Street, Fantasyland. This is so good. Look at the ferry boat right there. I, I am so excited. I am so, so excited. I'm sure you guys know how excited I am that I got this spirit jersey. I can't even believe it. It's also more expensive. I think it's $85.99, but we got it. We got it. The soap opera, the spirit jersey soap opera has come to an end. I was thinking about whether or not I should get my coffee now and maybe I should eat first and then have my coffee afterwards. They sell the Press Pot Joffrey's coffee right here. Uh, it's 100% Kona coffee for two and it's $9.50. So I might get it afterwards to give me a little pick me up. It doesn't look like I'm getting into Ohana tonight, so I mobile ordered my coconut meatballs and rice from Captain Cook's and now I'm gonna go over to Tambu Lounge and order my uh, noodles. There it is, the Ohana noodles. And you can get them right here at Tambu Lounge and it's only $12. So if you just love the noodles from Ohana and you don't want to pay the $50, I think it's $55 actually, you can just get the noodles for $12. And uh, they don't pack them up to go. You actually have to order it and then ask for a to-go box. And now we're gonna head down to Captain Cook's to get our meatballs and uh, coconut rice. Come down here and here are my uh, meatballs and rice, Nathan Morrow, thank you so much. 
and look at that voila so you get all of this food so this is ten dollars and then this is twelve dollars and isn't that such a great meal it's like the best of both worlds what a combination and if you can't eat at ohana this is half the price and this is big enough that like anybody can get full off this like you don't need to have all of ohana even though ohana is amazing but if you just got this you're gonna be full first things first let's grab ourselves a little meatball one meatball <laughs> i'm not too sure if it's a possibility or not to actually get extra sauce i've never asked for it but it would be good because there's a lot of like rice that actually is just white rice and the sauce doesn't touch it but man man i love it and now some ohana noodles look at that and they give you a good portion for uh 12 dollars. i mean it's actually a pretty big pretty big container these are hands down my favorite thing on the Ohana menu. The noodles, I'm all about the noodles. <laughs> now I think I'm gonna go where no man has gone before. Maybe they have. We're gonna grab a little bit of the noodles. I'm gonna try to scoop them up here with the rice. There we go. A little noodle, rice, and meatball combination. There it is, the perfect bite. <laughs> That is so much better than I thought it was going to be. Wow, what a combination. <laughs> I'm happy we ended up doing this. Things work out for the reasons. Things work out for the reasons. <laughs> I am so happy we waited to actually get coffee because I am stuck now. We are definitely going to need the coffee to give me a little picker-upper here. And wow, I still got tons of food. I'm going to take it back to the room, put it in the fridge. Uh, maybe have a little snack later on tonight or tomorrow morning wake up and have Ohana noodles because that would be really cool yeah. Look at that and I think I'll just pour the rice right into the noodles I eat the three meatballs, but this is like a whole nother meal almost Now it's time for coffee now We're gonna head back up to Kona grab some coffee and then by that time Maybe Trader Sam's is gonna be ready. It's been just about an hour So we're definitely very close if they said the hour wait time was about an hour so hopefully it's starting to get a little bit dark outside all of the flame torches are lit you can see magic kingdom all lit up too i can see cinderella castle and here's the pool itself i would love to actually go around the water side but today it just seems like it's probably going to be too cold like you know what i mean too cold and uh once you get out of that water i know the pools are heated but once you get out oh you'll feel it but maybe i don't know maybe later i did bring some swimming trunks with me one of my favorite things about the Polynesian is walking around and having all of the torches lit. I think it's just so like really nice. It enhances the experience because you really feel like you're like in a nice Polynesian retreat. And the torches really add a nice little touch to it. Even though we're not going to be getting any Dole Whip, I do always like to stop over and see what flavors they have because they usually have different flavors here at the uh, Pineapple Lanai. And uh, I don't know what they got. Let's just take a look see here. Looks like the flavors of today's lime, pineapple, and then vanilla. And then you can upgrade it to the 50th Celebration Dole Whip. And you pick any of those flavors and you get a little 50th candy disc and an umbrella. I kind of like it. It is cute. But I don't know if we're going to be uh, getting any Dole Whip today. Oh my lord. Let me show you guys something so awesome you know how i was standing there and i was like oh i'm not gonna get some dough whip i just wanted to show you guys the flavors uh the cast member asked if i wanted to try a sample because they give out little sample like black cups uh for you to try the flavors and i was like well i'll try lime i've never had it before and she made a 50th celebration sample for me and it was free she gave it to me isn't that so cool it comes with iridescent sprinkles on there the little 58th chocolate token and an umbrella and that was such a nice thing to do so thank you so much so cute it really is amazing and now i get to try lime dole whip for the first time there we go it's also really cool to point out if you ever want to try a sample of dole whip you can always just get one right there but here's the lime dole whip oh wow that's very limey I much rather the pineapple one. <laughs> That's very, very limey. I used to love getting this coffee whenever I had breakfast at Kona. And uh, it's so cool that they offer it right here. It's kind of weird though because you don't get to like take the press pot with you. They just pour it in two different cups. But they have to sell it in whole because it is like a whole entire craft of coffee. It takes just about eight minutes to steep up. 
So we're just gonna sit over here and wait for it to be ready and uh, enjoy. I love how they have this little sit-down bar area right next to the monorail, uh, the monorail platform there. So you can actually just sit here and watch the monorails go back and forth. It's a little dark now so you can't see. And then right on this side is where they have everything where you can prepare your coffee. Along with amazing coffee, they do serve some really cool desserts over here like chocolate covered bacon. They have dark chocolate bacon, caramel nuts bacon, dark chocolate chili bacon, and then a seasonal bacon which is uh, kind of pineapple-ish. And then they also have uh, chocolate covered Oreos or toasted, oh no these are strawberries. So these are M&M covered strawberries, Oreo covered strawberries, snow cap, and a toasted coconut one. So a lot of good stuff and also some grab and go sushi. And here it is, the Kona press pot. And they actually gave me two cups and uh, the person that was standing next to me, uh, they said they liked my videos and I was like, hey, would you like a cup of coffee? So I gave them my other cup of coffee because I'm not gonna drink both of them. And uh, when you get the press pot, you have to get it all, you know what I mean? Because it's just a whole pot of you know French press coffee. So it was nice and look, they put little hearts on top. The only thing missing here though, is the French vanilla creamer and also it's missing from my fridge so I don't know what I'm gonna do about tomorrow morning <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to use the regular old creamer I wonder if this is actually any different though this half and half compared to the coffee mate we find out this might be chilled though this coffee seriously gives you such a kick and such a wake up I love it though oh much too good <laughs> As I was sitting here enjoying my coffee in a Disneyland cup, I got a text that says uh, I'm ready to go to Trader Sam's. So uh, I think we're gonna head on down there, do Trader Sam's, and then watch the fireworks from the beach, the private beach over on the side where my room is at. I can't wait to see the view from there. I wish there was a way I can give you a comparison, like side by side, how much better it is, uh, but maybe you'll see. Also, I'm happy I wore my Trader Sam shirt from Park Candy. I usually wear Roosevelt's or Park Candy shirts, but this one is so cool. Look, there's a zombie right here. Right there it is. <laughs> We're only probably going to get one drink because we do want to catch the fireworks on the beach. And I'm not too sure which one I'm going to get. I'm not too sure what drink I'm going to get. I might get myself a zombie or a pearl because I'm still in the hunt for the black pearl. And if you guys don't know about Trader Sam's, all the drinks are really well themed and they come in amazing tiki mugs uh, or they come in pearls. And uh, sometimes when you do order something, uh, some cool things will happen. So we'll try to catch that on camera for you because it is really, really awesome to be here. I always love coming down to Trader Sam's. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go with a zombie. I haven't had it in such a long time and I kind of like it the most. If you are a frequent visitor of Trader Sam's, what's your go-to drink? I mean, there's so many to choose and some of them are big enough that they're shareable like the Nautilus. But I have to say, the zombie always sticks out to me. I think it's just so fun. And here's a look at it. It is uh, $17 or $30 if you actually want to keep the head. Ooh. Oh, that's mine? <laughs> you got this. Oh, I skip your eyes are popping today. Uh, I went to Urban Decay. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> My death for set is a little long. There it is. Champion. Thank you. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Oh, no brainer. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that such an amazing drink? I love it. I love the mug itself too, you know what I mean? This is gonna get me in the uh, great spirits for enchantment. That's the best thing I've ever looked Oh yeah. Oh. Bubbles are amazing, they're working perfectly. <laughs> Hi. 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 
<laughs> As I'm sitting here enjoying my zombie, I look straight ahead and I see Maui's hook. Hi, friend. <laughs> Seriously, look at that right there. That is Maui's hook. Maui's hook is actually in here. I feel like there's a great opportunity to have a Timotoa drink. Like that would be really awesome. Timotoa has got to be one of my all-time favorite villains. I don't even know if you call him a villain, but he was so awesome. Uh oh. You can really lose track of time in here, but we want to make it out to the beach so we can watch Enchantment, so we better finish up. I guess one zombie and done. We're one and done in Trader Sam's. I can't believe how dark it is now already. Well, it is almost 8 o'clock. It's 7.45. So we're going to make our way out to the beach. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you guys what the popular beach is like. So over here is where most people go to watch the fireworks at the beach at Polynesian. I'm going to show you how many people are over here compared to where we're going to go. And you're going to be shocked. Also, look at all the fire torches out on the patio here. It is cold enough for the, uh, the fire though. It is, it's, I think it's like in the 50s. So the fire is a nice little touch to keep warm. Holy moly though, there's a whole dance party and DJ on the uh, grassy knoll. So that is, that's pretty crazy. I wanted to just come over and show you guys the beach area because it was going to be so busy. But look, they've got like a whole dance party. Usually they just do uh, movies under the stars here, but uh, they added a little uh, a dance thing. That's really fun. It's a little bit dark, but you guys will see what I'm talking about where uh, this beach is going to be super popular and the other one is going to be hardly anybody there. Yeah, it is very dark out, but you can see there are tons of people already just sitting here waiting to get a good spot. And uh, over on the other side, there's not going to really be anybody. So it's really awesome to be able to show you guys this stuff in case you plan on visiting. I took a quick pit stop back up in the room because I wanted to put my uh, noodles in the fridge and also switch into my uh, spirit jersey. Look at this. I love it. It's a little chilly outside, so if we're going to go down to the beach, uh, I want to wear my spirit jersey and we just bought it. I love it though. I'm so excited I waited to get this. It looks so amazing. And also, I thought about watching the fireworks from the balcony, but there's a tree blocking the view. Like there is a tree directly in front of the castle. So it's probably not gonna be the best spot. Down by the beach, that's where we wanna be. Seriously though, I love this spirit jersey. And look at Mickey right here. That, 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 honestly, this has like gotta be one of the best spirit jerseys they've ever made. I really believe it is. Okay, let's go down to the beach now. Gotta go down to the beach. Oh, gotta put our mask on. You still have to wear your mask when you're walking in uh, between the hallways uh, and going outside. I think I have it right here. Nope, that's a napkin. Where's my mask? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There it is. It's blending in with my lay. And I don't want to forget my lay either. Now we got our mask and my lay. 
I kind of wish that I had a coffee again. A coffee was so, so good. And something about just drinking coffee while I'm watching the fireworks, especially on a cold, chilly night. I'm not, I don't have enough time to walk over there, though. Oh, I had the Keurig in the room, though. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> I like the uh, elevators, too, over on the hotel side. They're a little bit more updated. The only thing is, is they don't have like that individual like lobby feel inside the buildings. It's all just road rooms. Look at that. There's literally two people on the beach. Two people on this whole entire beach. Also, is that a plane coming towards us or a shooting star? It's pretty bright though, isn't it? I really hope I was right by saying that they uh, play the music over here too. Because I don't see any speaker boxes unless this is in one right here. Let's see kind of looks like a speaker box I guess we'll find out so we'll uh, post up shop right here let me see that straight ahead that's Cinderella Castle right there I guess we'll find out in a second if there's a speaker right here or not but I like the sound of the water hitting the beach the two it's really relaxing oh here we go Okay, I don't know if they have speakers, but they're broken at the moment, but you can't hear anything. So I'm gonna move near the boat dock and I can already hear the music as soon as I walk over here. So much louder. So I think they do have them, but I think the speakers are broken over there. Ooh, Moana! See, we were by speakers. That's exactly where we were, but I think the speakers are broken. Ooh, I kind of like the view from here. Well, this is pretty. Because the dock is like acting like a runway to the fireworks. person who walks through these gates, this enchantment. Look inside yourself and realize that you have everything you need to make all your dreams come true. Anything is possible, for you are the magic. That was really funny. So 
the quiet beach would be perfect then, but I guess it was too quiet. There is speakers over there, they just must not be working. So I was just like, oh no, and I wanted to hear the music, so I scrambled over here real quick, and I got to the boat dock, and it was really nice. Like, it was really, really close, um, and the music's nice and loud. You can still hear, like, the after enchantment music playing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it is good. They have such big fireworks. I, I do have to give Enchantment this. I feel like they have the largest, like, firework burst or shells out of any of the uh, other previous shows. Uh, I do like Happily Ever After's music a little bit better. Uh, I mean, this one is good, but I feel like we need uh, Go the Distance. Like, now the only, like, fireworks show that has uh, I Could Go the Distance is uh, Harmonious. And I love it. It's, like, my favorite song. Sometimes I just sit here and pretend like they're doing it. I have often dreamed. Ooh. <laughs> and I think that was a great way to end the night. You know, watching Enchantment down by the beach and then over on the boat dock. And now we're back up in the room and I think I'm going to call it a night. I had so much fun today. We got to do so much. We got to do all the things like at Polynesian. All the like really fun things. Now we couldn't do a lot of things that were outside because I think they were kind of closed. Like most of the stuff was like not actually uh, offered today because of the temperature. You know what I mean? Like I didn't see the fire pit. There was no movie under the stars because uh, it looked like they were having like a dance party over there. Uh, but we did all the stuff that's in there and there's so much to do here at the Poly. Trader Sam's is always a very popular spot you have ohana you have kona coffee tambu lounge barefoot bar fireworks on the beach shopping at the boutique -y. so like you could spend a whole day and whenever i do these videos i kind of like make it all about the resort instead of like just staying here and then going to a park or anything like that i really want to take in the experience of what it's like to be here at the polynesian and it was really cool to be able to stay here at the polynesian uh hotel side like inside the moana rooms i've never been over here so i get to mark that off my bucket list now and it's so crazy how that happened you know what i mean they were like oh well we could put you on that side uh but you won't have like a lake view and i'm just like I got no concern. No problem here. No, I'll take that. So that was really, really awesome. And uh, thank you to Bobby who uh, actually was able to give me the DVC points that led me to actually stay over here. His were expiring and we got to use them up. And then look at this magic that happened. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'm going to call it a night. Hit the head. Hit go to bed. I can't wait to sit down on the bed and just have a wonderful morning when I wake up. So I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Woo.